to have a house meeting where he can address all of us. I don't know, I guess get something off of his chest. Obviously the last 24 hours for me were pretty tough. When I walked out of there, and saw you guys sitting there. It meant the world to me. So I just want to let you guys know I appreciate that. I'm dressing all black for a reason. I want to welcome you guys all to my big brother funeral. Stop crying, Brittany. Just want to say a couple of things. Joe, being around you, you taught me a lot about how to be a good husband. You know, Shane's walking living proof there actually is a Captain America. <laughs> um, you're such a good dude, but I just appreciate our friendship, man. Bro. One and only Jen City. You're the first lesbian I ever met. And I just want you to make sure that you know how much you've touched me. I appreciate it, thank you. Next up is Brittany. I know that we're always gonna have this bond that maybe only you and I understand is new people being married in this house and being separated from the people we love. And the last three are gonna be a little bit tougher. Ian. The more and more I was around you, the more you reminded me of myself. Because you love this place for everything it's worth. And you, you single-handedly made this experience for me. All right, the guy in the carrot suit, Frank. There's a couple things I've said about you that I'm not proud of. You know, there's something the Bible I want to read to you upstairs and apologize to you face to face in private. Now is not the time or place, but after this, I'd like to talk to you by yourself and just get that off the table. So then finally, I know there's Danielle. The last time I played this game, I learned a lot of tough lessons early on. And I learned that you gotta find one person and put 100% of your trust in it. I thought if I picked you, you would have similar qualities to Memphis Garrett. And through my own fault, I was wrong. We don't need to get into it now, but in this game, you'll never earn my trust back. You know what you did. And in this game, you're dead to me. So don't come to me and ask about it, because it's over. Moving forward, we can be friends outside of this. I'll be friends with all of you. But the game talk for me ends now. So I hope you guys understand that, that this was the death of Dan the player. I want the rest of the experience to be fun for everyone and non off. I really appreciate it. Thanks, man. What are you talking about, Dan? Did I really go crazy in solitary confinement? Or did I come up with a master plan to get myself out of this mess? No, I don't know anything. I have no idea what he's talking about, Danielle. Yeah? I have no idea. What was that? Yeah, he said 24 hours to think about what to do and how to get himself out of the jam. This is his way of, like, getting Same us goodbye. to keep him? No, 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 there's, no, no, no there's something else. There's something weird. Somebody told him something. No one talked to him. He went right He went straight into solitary. This is why we need to keep her in the game and not him. Obviously, I hope oh, well, God, this is... Here. Uh, that, that's She's not going anywhere. <sighs> Who would have predicted? Not me. Danielle, do you want people or no? <laughs> I just want Shane. Well, obviously, Dan, you know, is headed out the door. Danny's got my vote to stay. Um, kind of a bad way to go on Dan's behalf. <laughs> I know. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a tough hurdle to get over, but you got to move forward. You're staying in this game. You got a lot of fight left in you. <laughs> While I was trapped in solitary confinement, I came up with a master plan to try and save myself. Step one, invite all the house guests to Dan's funeral. Step two, go talk to Frank and blow up the quack pack. I brought this Bible up here, not to read to you, but to swear on. I have no power in this game. What I do have is information. 
there's a couple things you need to know. Number one, selling out you and Mike in front of everyone. I didn't do that. You're gonna find out how it went down and what happened. The Silent Six was formed. Prior to that, there was an alliance created. Not with four people, with five people. Man, I knew it. You know? But the thing is for you is that, no, he is with them. You know, this guy duped me, you know? This kid's ruthless. I was in such a bad spot, and then here I am. I'm taking heat for this kid. Yeah. And he's covered at every angle. It blows my mind what Mike did for him. I want him out next. This is my pitch to you. Brittany's a more dangerous player. She's covered everywhere. Covered by you. Joe's not going to put her up. Ian's not going to put her up. Shane's not going to put her up. Who was going to put Brittany in? For as tight as I feel with Ian, there's not a doubt in my mind he's tighter with Brittany. If Brittany had won that veto, it was going to go down. She was going to take Danielle down. Ian was going to take me down. See, but I was thinking that Shane could win the next HOH and I'd be all right. But I, now, I, now I'm, not, I'm thinking that's impossible. I was completely by myself, so I had to try to work with Ian, Shane, and Brittany. But now, it turns out they've been lying to me for weeks. I've never made an action against you. Like, yeah. Shane, you know, put you up uh, however many times. Like, I've never, I've never even voted against you, yeah. you know? No one would ever think you we'd be working together. Don't we both? Me, Dan. No, I swear to God. Yeah. But this is actually pretty good. Everyone in the house is pissed at me. Jen's probably not right with me that I did that to Danielle. But if I went to Jen and said, Jen, look, I know you and Danielle are tight. What do you think about me, you, Dan, and Danielle? I know this might sound a little crazy, but I want you to use the veto on Dan. I think she might do it. It's really, I mean, it's really gonna come down to you working, Jen. Because what I'm, I'm gonna go grab Danielle and pull in the arcade and be like, that was an act. I'm trying to save us both. Yeah. And I think I just did. Because she won't say anything. If I get Brittany out of this house, Ian will be by himself. Shane will be by himself. If me, Dan, Danielle, and Jen are working together, then it'll be us four and Joe. I've been worried about somebody that might take me to the final two, and now it seems like Dan might be that person. We book me, Dan. I swear to God. Man. Uh, on this, on my wedding thing, on my wedding ring, on my chain from my dead grandfather. Everything I'm telling you is the complete truth. I was willing to swear in the Bible to go to the end with Frank, and the crazy thing is, I actually mean it. Final two? Yeah, final two, man. I, we gotta come up with a name, though. We'll figure one out. So now that I've got Frank on board, it's now time to do absolute damage control with Danielle. I've gotta pull her in alone and calm her down and let her know this was all an act. I told you I'd never do it again.
My plan works. Think of this. I'm gonna be off the block from a guy who put on a carrot suit, took an avocado bath, took a chum bath, and sat out of an HOH competition all to get me out. I may have a future in sales selling ice to Eskimos if I can pull this thing off. Brittany has got her hand in a couple cookie jars. She's got her hand deepest in Shane's and Ian's, and that's a pretty tight little threesome, and that is no bueno. It looks like me and old Dan Geesling might be working together. Hey everyone, it's time for the veto meeting. This is the veto meeting. Danielle and Dan have been nominated for eviction. Ian and I each have the power to veto one of Frank's nominations. Ian, since you won your veto first, you make the first decision. I have decided not to use the power of veto. Sorry, Gus. Thank you, Ian. You know, it's just been a, a wild, wild few days without a shadow of a doubt. This is strictly a game move, and it's for my personal game. I have decided to use the power of veto on Dan. Frank, since I have decided to veto one of your nominations, you have to name a replacement. Ian, you voted Mike out last week, and then you put me and my other closest ally up on the block, and she went home. You won the veto, so I can't put you up. I gotta do the next best thing and put your closest ally up on the block. You made it apparent who that is. So to quote a not so wise young man, Brittany, pop a squat. This veto meeting is adjourned. I have any find me left. I just feel really, really done. I don't feel like I can do it anymore. Frank got the old backstab in on me. If he thought I was coming after him before, I'm coming after him now. Listen, no one can say Gen City hasn't made a big move in this game. That's what you get for underestimating your girl. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Boom. 
Jen just used the veto on me. Jen just used the veto on me. My plan actually worked. And only 24 hours ago, I was a dead man walking. Now I'm a risen man looking to take down everyone in my path. 